Hewlett Packard have their traditions in making quality products. The company made around $127 billion last year. And today we decided to show you the new and pretty functional ProBook 4540S. In the exterior there is plastic and metal, it's difficult to stain the surface or leave fingerprints. The corners are rounded and the lines are smooth. The machine may look rough at first sight, but that's one of the things that sets HP apart when it comes to design. The ProBook weighs 2 kg and 300 grams. It's 375 mm wide, 256 mm deep and 28 mm thick. The upper lid, however, is thin and flexible and the opening mechanism strong and stable. There we have the SRS Premium Sound consisting of two speakers, two watts each. With the volume at its maximum, there is no need for more speakers and there's no distortion. The display that HP chose for 4540S is a 15.6 inch LED backlit HD with a 1366 by 768 pixels resolution. The image is clear and the color is vivid even when working outdoors because of the anti-glare cover. Also, the viewing angle is wide enough. Above the display we find the 2 megapixel HD webcam. Without a focus, along with the white balance, transition of the image is good and the pictures we took during our testing were good enough for you to share with your friends on the social networks. The keyboard has island-style keys, which are easier to use and maintain. On the left, right beyond the keyboard, is where the multi-finger multi-touch pad is located. With a scroll zone and two buttons, which are quiet and easy to press. The HP ProBook 4540S has a quad-core Intel Core i7-3612QM. It has 6MB L3 cache and the cores run at 2.1GHz, with the turbo boost at up to 3.1GHz. RAM memory is 8 GB, DDR3 at 1333MHz and the hard disk 750GB SATA 2. The video card is also pretty good, AMD Radeon HD 7650M. And in case you're on a budget, there are some other hardware options available. At the periphery we find 4 USB ports, two of which the fastest 3.0 version, HDMI port and standard RJ35 and 3.5mm audio jack. The optical device is a DVD RW Super Multi. There's also a 4-in-1 card reader. The battery types are two possible depending on the different configurations. A 9-cell or a 6-cell going on for 14 or 7 hours per charge.